In this video, I'm going to show you why do I love this ceramic infused spray sealant with a short review of the application, gloss level and water behavior of CarCam Hydrocoat Hybrid. My overall user experience is one of the best so far because it does everything I expect from a sealant to do, started with the ease of application which is proved to be very forgiven and beginner friendly, and I'm saying that because I didn't do the application on the way CarCam recommends, in fact, I totally went on a different route right off the bat with over applying the product on the surface, instead of spraying a small amount onto a microfiber applicator, but even with this mistake, I could work the sealant in by crosshatch motion without any issue or pain in the bottom part, which was quite impressive. The other thing I really like is the slickness on the surface during the application which is very satisfying, not to mention the pleasant smell along with this. Once I spread the sealant on the bonnet, let that cure for 5 minutes or until the solution has dried to a haze and while I was waiting for this to happen, I worked myself around the next few panels to make the application as efficient as time-wise possible. I felt myself guilty for mixing things up with the application method and I didn't want to provide you false information either, so a few days after I recorded this video, I contacted with CarCam, shared my experience and asked them, would this kind of application cause any disadvantage of water behavior, the level of protection or longevity compared to their recommendation. Thankfully, they replied with a reassuring message saying, if that works for me, it should be fine. Also saying, if the product was evenly applied after a good preparation, which by the way I did, then the product should perform as expected, however, their recommendation of a small amount on a microfiber applicator would give you the very best experience, but at the same time, my rookie mistake could prove how forgiven this product really is because I had no issues with a totally off-label application whatsoever. I can say the exact same things of removing the remaining residue after 5 minutes of cure time where the cloth was gliding over the paintwork pretty smoothly and left a very satisfying gloss alongside with a slick to touch finish. Giving you back the level of gloss throughout the camera lens is not the best thing I can do, I know that, but I personally think there is an increased warmness in the color and a few minor imperfections like something called spiderweb and other very light spheres have been much less visible compared to prior using this sealant and first, I didn't believe it, I thought I might seen this wrong, so on the following day, I kept checking the surface under different light sources, especially where I knew how bad the spheres were before and I can confirm that they were less visible after the application. Obviously, it won't make them disappear, that's not what I'm saying, but I was quite surprised by this to be honest and it is a sherry on the top for me. The water behavior of this product is not the best I have seen, but not the worst either, for me. It's sort of average, however, I do love this product so far because it does everything well and ticks all the boxes I expect from a sealant to do while being a budget-friendly option and will last for a while also. To check my current favorite water behavior in regards to non-ceramic luster protection, click on this video. Thanks for watching, take care, see you there.